Uh, good day, boss. Uh, just a little message from us across the water for your big day. Um, I'm so gutted we can't be there. Me and the family, we would love to, but uh, it's a bit of a trek. And now uh, we was back in March, so if they didn't co coincide, uh, I probably would have turned up. Or, oh, uh, let's be fair, two castles then. Uh, one castle, reception in the Lindsay, and I could use the rest of the money to uh, fly me over. No? Alright then, worth a try. Be late now, though, won't I? Uh, yeah, I gotta admit, I bet you both look stunning. I know Kerry probably is, that's for sure. Um, I know you've got high standards, but I still can't get over how you pulled her. She is, she is a bit of a looker, but I gotta admit, give me credit on her. And you do scrub up well as but M as well. Um, uh, what can I say about M then? Well, I've known him ever since we were sperm, to be honest. Like I think it's 30 years now. And uh, you know, like growing up, always around his house, sleeping over, I was never at mine. And uh, one big thing I can always remember is going into his house and having big plates of food straight in front of us, walk through the door, biscuits and stuff. And that was great. Always great now, growing up. And uh, I mean, Emlyn's probably one of those uh, few people that you're actually proud to call your friend. He's a great guy. Uh, it's been on and on him all these years, like. He, I know he'd do anything for anyone if you asked him, like. But uh, I gotta admit, he did worry me a few years ago. I think it was uh, maybe just after he left uni. Uh, we was all in, in Cardiff on a piss. And uh, he walks through the door in one of the pubs with a set of gloves and a scarf on. Uh, I thought he'd gone queer or something. Let's be fair. Em, you're a valley boy, but you can't be wearing our shit, like, yeah. It's no good. <laughs> no, but, uh, yeah, he's a great guy. And, uh, Kerry, you've done, you've done well there as well. And you make great parents. And, uh, yeah, well, not much more to say. Like I said, I'm gutted I can't be there. But I know you'll have a great time. And, uh, I'm sure you've got a karaoke. So you're thinking of me. But uh, yeah, and uh, oh, I hope this gets there um, on time, because I'm only sending the first class, I'm not sending an email, because it costs a fucking bomb. So uh, you might be watching this a week after your wedding on a sofa. <laughs> right, um, yeah, well, that's it. Oh, one more thing. I think uh, with all, uh, well, I have been married a couple of years now, I sh should maybe tell you a bit of what I've learned in those past couple of years, uh, maybe a bit of advice, if you will. Uh, so uh, the only bit of advice I can give you is, uh, and this is very important, whatever you do, under no circumstances, do you ever, right, let Neil Snoutley Roberts make a speech at your wedding. Because, uh, and I'll be unfair, as beautiful as it was, and uh, obviously sent over by paper, when my sister the poor tart was still reading it two days later. Like, you know, yeah. <laughs> no, um, not only joking. He's a good guy, really. Love him the best. And, uh, yeah, so, uh, yeah, missing the war. And, uh, like I said, wishing all the best again. Uh, have a great day. And uh, see you soon. All right? Send us a copy of your video or photos if you can. All right? All the best for the future, both. As they say, Landau, ciao for now. Ta.